everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ashley. And I'm Amy. And we are... Martin Midlife Misadventures. Yes, we are. Had a few misadventures over the last couple, couple of fails. weeks. <laughs> couple fails, but... We've also got corrective measures yes, to share do. with you. Yes, we do. And we have a thrifting prepper haul. We got some really great preps out thrifting and yard sailing. And we we're got gonna, some really good stuff. Really good stuff. But we're going to start with failures first. The most recent you guys know of... Uh, when I jumped out of my truck and sprained my ankle and had a, had a seizure. seizure. <laughs> okay. Well, when that happened, um, I was alone here. We were alone. Amy's on the ground. She had sprained her ankle and I'm, I'm a big girl. <laughs> she's tall. She's not big. <laughs> she's tall. She's just bigger than me. So anyway, I'm holding her head because I had caught her as she was falling and I kind of had my thumb by her mouth. I'm watching her mouth because I didn't know if she, if something was going to happen, if she'd bite her tongue, whatever. Anyway, I'm holding her and I'm looking up at the house, at grandpa's house and thinking, grandpa's dead asleep. There's no way he's going to hear me if I scream. I have no phone. Here she is. And I had no way to get her up and get her back into the trailer, huh? Yeah. It took a long time, and she suffered on the way in because we didn't have the equipment. Long story short... Corrective measure one. Corrective measure one. Three dollars we paid, and these are in perfect shape. Everybody, you need to have crutches, wheelchairs, walkers, what else? Mm -hmm. I mean, anything like that. Uh, even... Even the toilet seat. Yes, uh -huh. yes. You need those kind of things. That's not just for elderly people. It's for people who are injured. Yeah. So next time, and hopefully there's not, we now have a set of crutches if somebody needs to get up. So that was a good one. Scored on that. The next one's not from the thrift store. This is just a failure on my part. I have gotten bitten head to toe, huh? Yeah. My entire life. It doesn't matter where I'm at. If there's a biting insect, it comes after me. It'll get her. It, it, and they did. And they're called no see -ums. And I had never been bitten by one before. They look like a little, just a little gnat flying around. You go like this. But they're biters, okay? So what we found out is regular DEET, huh? It attracts them. It they like it. They like it. They're like, come to me. I'm going to eat you up. Mm -hmm. And mama here... <laughs> covered herself in some deet so it was a double whammy i'm still getting bit not quite as much because i have some measures i've taken i want to share them with you the first thing is as you saw in the other video i soaked in epsom salt water everybody epsom Great salt for bug bites for sprains for twisted ankles for sore muscles yeah it, it, epsom salt is a little god's miracle it us. is god's miracle we have a ton of it, yeah. and we're going to keep on buying it. I always used to hear people when I was younger, oh, I soak my feet in Epsom salts. They feel so good. I never really understood that. Well, guess what? That's I, why it's midlife. That's right. We understand that now, but seriously, the immediate relief of putting your body in these bites in the water with Epsom salt, I can't even begin to tell you. It was a miracle. Sure. The second miracle... Pure baking soda paste, just baking soda and water. Tell them. Yeah, she had painted on her legs, yep. and within seconds, she was like, oh. And I could walk outside, tend to my garden, because I literally was slathered. And if they hit it, they're just going to die, because it's like landing in salt. Another thing that we found just recently, and it's called Skeeter Screen. Do you see this? Do you see how it specifically says to treat no seams and does not contain DEET? I had never seen anything, and maybe it's always been there, but I've never... I've never seen this I've before. never seen this before. So far, it's working really, really good. So if this keeps up, I'm going to buy a case of it. We found this at a random little hardware store, yeah. huh? Driving down the freeway, and I'm like, look at that. It says no seams on it. I didn't even know they existed. So, and when I was buying it, yeah, the guy, I said, oh, I can't believe I'm getting this. They're eating me alive. He said, oh, I know they are because everyone here gets eaten alive. I don't. She doesn't. Okay. Calamine lotion, 
itching gel relief. <laughs> I also took allergy relief. You know, we have a little, Benadryl a little uh, pharmacy here. Yes, vaporizing rub, everybody. This helps too. It actually deadens it, and if it's thick on you, they're not. It's like a repellent. Even if they come to you, they just stick to it. They can't bite you through it. So, I actually used a little bit of this. Grandpa told us that the guys back in the day got bit head to toe. And what they would do is cover themselves, slather, huh? Yeah. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Again, it's like oil. They hit it. They they can't. They get stuck. Yeah. Keith Brooks told us about witch hazel. So we've got the witch hazel, Keith. We are listening, and we will take any recommendations. Someone also said uh, this was a this was a recommendation as well. Yeah, our Vicks. friend told us that, so and somebody said to use Noxema. Yeah. It was a comment. I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was, but we're on top of that one yeah. too. We also read that if you take turmeric, everybody take turmeric. What does it do? Um, it's good for people with lupus, so that's a plus. That's a plus for uh, me. It helps with bug bites for whatever reason. I don't know. It makes you unattractive yeah, to them. It gives you a it. smell or something they don't like. And it's good for arthritis. Like. And it's good for arthritis. Uh, so as well as a number of other things. This is going to help me and Amy with everything. <laughs> so I also have some turmeric powder that I'm going to start cooking with. I, I think we need to incorporate this in our diet, get used to it, and then kind of well, me, because they don't bite her, but I'm going to try to change my chemical makeup or whatever so they don't want to bite me. There you go. There we go. And those are my advices, and that was a failure. I especially, because I've gotten bitten my entire life, I should have done my research when we moved up here. I should have found out what types of pests were here and been more prepared because that was the most miserable biting yeah, I've ever it was been through. horrible. It's still all over me. Yeah, but my legs... I'm good. Now, we shared all this with you guys because we've told you from the gate, anything that we learn, any failures that we have, we're going to share them with you. Uh, we don't like giving advice about things that we haven't actually experienced ourselves. So these were some very valuable life lessons. Now we're going to show you our thrifting our amazing thrifting haul. I'm so pleased with it, huh? Yes. So Here, pull moving. those up since you just cleared the way. Many of you know I've been uh, building an outdoor oven for nine months now. <laughs> but we found a pizza paddle for it, everyone, so we can pull our bread goods and our pizzas. Look at how awesome that is. Show them. Look at that. Yeah, it was $7, and it was worth every it's penny worth it. of it. We also found the Bread Machine book. This is by Jeannie Schapter. Schapter? It's amazing. This is amazing. Tell them, have I bought bread? Nope. No bread. No bread buying. I have bought no bread since I told you I wasn't going to. I've been using the bread machine. And one thing I'm starting with now is just letting the bread machine do the work and then pulling the dough and letting it prove, but pulling the dough out and making other things from it. That's my next step. And uh, I'm and telling you. I'm looking you, forward to it. <laughs> it's so good, this fresh baked bread. Grandpa loves it too. Next. Oh, we found these sh uh, shotgun cleaning patches for $1.99. Look at that, everyone. Pretty awesome. We're going to give those a try. And we also found, and if it works, we'll be getting more probiotics for poultry. For our you poultry. put it in a gallon of water. It's not expired it or anything. It's good to go. So we're going to give it a try for a whole quarter. These. See these two things? This is just, it's got to be cleaned, and I will clean it good. But look at this pot, everyone. The construction, everything. They just it, don't make them like that They anymore. do not. And if they do, they're super expensive. This was $2.50. Great for outdoor cooking. And we also got... A little fry basket this is so good for uh, uh, when I blanch my vegetables before I dehydrate them I didn't have anything like this so I think we paid like a whole dollar for that one what do you got over there uh, I got a flashlight oh show them it works it does work we didn't put batteries in it it came with them mm -hmm. that was a whole whopping two but bucks. we do have six volt batter that, batteries that's so. right 
Two so two dollars. That was a really great buy. What else did we get? We bought this little old metal colander with the feet. Do you see this? It was a dollar. These are fantastic. This is great for in the garden, in the kitchen. It doesn't matter. They do not break. They're indestructible. Could never have too many of those. Oh, am I the... You're the... I'm, she keeps handing I'm them like to me. I'm like Vanna. <laughs> Ooh, Vanna, turn the letters. <laughs> okay, this is a pewter candlestick holder, everyone. We paid $1.99 for it at Goodwill. I could sell it, huh? Yeah. We could probably sell it because it's actually made in Virginia by Brooks, but... You know, all those emergency candles we get? It's perfect. It's perfect. There's a reason why in the old days they candle carried the candlestick. It catches the wax. It's just a perfect thing to have. So very much so, I think, a great prep are candlestick mm -hmm. holders like this that you can hold. Yeah, I want to find a ton more. Yeah. What else? <gasps> this. Bum, ba, ba, bum. Now, we could mold things in this. It's really a... Um, Oh, it's got a tie. It's just an ice cube tray, everybody. That's all it is. Amy and I didn't have an ice cube tray, and we want to put ice cubes inside our new, what's it called? Evaporative, evaporative cooler. cooler. That's right. We have a new evaporative cooler, and this is going to be the tray we make ice cubes for it for when, we're, for when we really need cooled down. And for oh, when... And we want to make some ice cream. Yes, so we can make some ice cream. Has anybody ever used these where you shake the ball, throw the ball, it makes ice cream? We paid $2. $2 and we got the salt that came with it. I didn't bring that outside, but we got that there too. So we're going to make some ice cream. Yes. Mm, banana Butterfinger ice cream is my favorite. That sounds delicious. Uh, eight cup. Eight cup Pyrex, everybody. It was originally marked for $5.99, but it was 50% off that day. So I now have a one cup, a four cup, and an eight cup, an eight cup Pyrex. And this is a great mixing bowl, everyone. This is just great. Uh, this was good. $3. <laughs> oh, look at this little sifter. Look at the quality on it, though. So great. I paid $3 for that. It's worth every penny. So, can't have too many of these. What's next? Jars. Jars. Give me the other one, too. These were half off. So, these were both a dollar each. This one actually says sugar on it, but it doesn't have to have sugar in it. Look at the nice that rubble decals, seal. We can take off yeah, we could take to. it off if we wanted to, but I'm not worried about it. It's probably going to have pasta or beans or lentils or. Something. I don't know. Something in it. And then one of these as well. Now, those little rubber, rubber gaskets that are on the other ones, you can buy those in bulk on Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and order some. So we have all these nice little crock-like ceiling containers. What else? This. Show them. I'm not the cooker. <laughs> I'm not the cooker. Okay. <laughs> I'll show them this. Though. I'm the talker. I'm the cooker. <laughs> She's the all. I am something. All right. Let's see. This is made by Lodge, everybody. It was a great find. It's a melting pot. One little piece we didn't have in our collection. So, yeah, we picked that I one up for pretty, five Other bucks. than one more pan, I think. I think there's one pan. It's kind of the, like, not the regular. We've got the baby skillet. I need the, no, it's the next size from the baby skillet like that I want. Inch. I got the big one, but I want the one that's just for, like, us. All right, next. Okay. Ooh, you show this, and I'll be Vanna. All right. I'm going to start holding them up. There's one. Look at these. Check it out. You start talking. Two. <laughs> Tell them what, why, how much. Well, I want them to see everything first. Look at that. Can Brand new, not rusty, no. not cheap. Look at these. Composite screws. Look at these. So deck screws, composite screws. Here. We've got more deck screws. <laughs> oh, some fell out. They some, won't see those. Uh, construction screws. Oh, little L brackets. Okay. Uh, more wood screws. Wood screws. Smaller wood screws and deck screws. Got more screws. <laughs> Here's construction screws. Some more construction screws. Oh, that's separate. Okay. And then we got, let's see, one, oh, two, three, Here's six, more. nine. Nine 
Huge L brackets. Heavy duty. Heavy duty. And there's one more box here that fell out of deck plus screws. All of that. $25. $25, everyone. And I'm telling you right now, this mini, $25. These mini right here would have been a minimum of $20 to $25 yeah. just for this. Yeah. They're well, not you know, crappy old ones. Bucket, uh, buckets are like 30 bucks or more now. Yeah. Just $25. Bucks. This was no. a major score. score. Major score. And we also got... Look at this pot. I finagled with this guy. He wanted like eight bucks for it. I yeah. think I got him down to like two fifty. But look at this, everyone. These are the best. I'm so excited about the pot. What else is there? What else is this? Oh, we do have other stuff. We went to the Humane Society of all places. Was it the Humane? Yes. It was Humane Society. Yeah. For three dollars, for three dollars, we got a hundred and five little peat pots for the garden. Those will keep nice. A KitchenAid uh, can opener. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. <laughs> all those little cheap ones that they have uh, over dollar at store. Dollar Tree, they're all crap, everybody. Stop buying them. They're bad. You need a good can opener. Now, we have little military can openers they, and they stuff like good. that. They work awesome. I think they work better than anything else. We should just use them on the daily. But those are packed away in bug out bags and whatnot. This kitchen... Kitchen Aid specifically makes a really great can opener, and this one was a whole dollar. We got some. Uh... Oh, Crafter Square Jute Cord. Cord. We got some Jute Cord. We always pick that up. Oh. And now I think we got these for like twenty five cents. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what'd okay. you find? Remember oh. this? Oh yeah. Okay, this is probably the most expensive book we've ever bought. Ever. <laughs> But I talked him down, too. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not doing it. Anyways, it's the Complete Idiot's Guide to Beekeeping. Do you see that? It was at a little thrift store. The it, guy wanted what, $7 for it. $7. At a store. And I'm like, guy, that's kind of high, don't you think, for a thrift store? So he gave me a discount. Not a big one, but Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, everybody. This is useful, useful stuff. Hey, show him my Metallica book. I'm right. not ashamed. Look at my Metallica guitar book, everybody. Yep, good times. I'm going to have to get Grandpa to bust out the guitars with me. And mm. we got some little sash rods. They were a dollar. Yeah. You can use these for a number of things. Mm -hmm. So we picked them up. All right. What else? Is that it? Yeah. You know? Oh, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Now, you might not think this is a good prep, but this is one of the best preps this is a good prep. I've ever bought. You see these, everybody? Set them up. These are Star Wars audiobooks, okay? Now, the we paid $50 for these. It was a big... Uh, uh, there's how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, there's 12 in total, but there's 9 of them in here that we can sell together... As a set. As a set for $250, okay? Score. So we spent 50 to make two, 250 which is a $200 profit. Do you know how many preps and how ahead we can get with $200? Yeah. Man, that's solar panels. Mm -hmm. That's so many different things. So, yeah, this was a great investment. And they will sell. They will sell like, like that. that. No problem. I kind of want to listen you know, to Star a Star Wars is the best. I kind of want to listen to a couple of them first because... We should listen to them. We, we are part. huge fans. But you know what? This is just stuff, everybody. And if it can get oh. us ahead... What? What's that say? Oh, revelation. Hmm. All right, everybody. Anything else? Uh, let's see. I don't think so. Oh, here's something we picked up at Goodwill. I don't know if they work, so if you all know if they work, they're deer warnings. You put them on, you're supposed to put them on like your headlights. Uh, and then the wind blows through them and it, it gives the deer warning that you're coming. So I don't know if they work or not, but I thought for I didn't even know you got $2 that. That it was worth amazing. it. That sounds amazing. Oh, because you were back in that mm -hmm. little section. This is amazing, everyone. I didn't even know she had picked that out. How cool. Oh, my gosh. I hope they work because every day, deer and elk, 
every single day we go down the mountain, we see deer and elk. All right, is there anything else besides a giant mosquito at my feet? Get him. She saved his life. Yay, he'll come back and bite me. He won't oh, bite there you. he is. He's not going to bite you. All right, everybody, we hope that this was useful. I hope that uh, you got something out of this, and especially our failures. We are yeah. not afraid to share the failures. Through the failures comes growth. And I think the most important thing for any failure we have in life, ask, what is the lesson? What is the lesson I'm supposed to be learning here and make the corrections, yeah. right? What am I supposed to learn from this? Yeah, that's the way we look at it. Things are coming together for us really good for a while there. We were like, oh my gosh. But uh, we're feeling good, yeah, huh? Absolutely. We're feeling Through really good. God, all things good. are possible. That's right. We got this, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like, haven't share, already. Comment. Yes, help because us out. guess what? We're almost there, guys. And guys, Amy and I have all our watch hours. We already have our watch hours, so all we need is the subs. So we're going to start asking for them, everyone. Thank you all for your support. And all your love and kindness, we appreciate Super each appreciate and it. every one of you, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Couldn't do it without you. No, we couldn't. We absolutely could not. Take care, everybody. Uh, take care. Take, take care. <laughs> take care, everyone. God bless you all. God bless. Peace.